Setting an intention first thing in the morning is a powerful habit that can change your life. It is a simple practice, very easy to do, and yet it's a powerful one for transforming our lives. Every morning before you start the day, set an intention. That's all it takes. So when is the best time to do this? The best time to practice this is to do it as soon as you are awake, before you jump out of bed, even before you open your eyes. You know the moment when you are consciously awake, so your mind is awake but your eyes are still closed and you are in that half snoozy mode? That is the best time to set your intention because you are still in a calm state that is the perfect mind-body state to program ourselves with whatever it is that we wish for in our bodies or in our lives. How do you practice it? Still lying in bed first thing in the morning before you jump into the day. It doesn't have to take long, just three to five minutes will do. You can also do this sat upright if that's what you prefer. But again, first thing before you do anything, before you look at your phone, before you jump into the day. So stay in bed or sat upright with a calm breath. Gentle inhale through the nose all the way into your belly and gentle exhale out from your belly through the nose. It is through your breath work that you can maintain your calm state. This is essential for this practice to work. You must do it with a calm breath from a calm mind space. If you are rushing and doing it for the sake of doing it, then it may not work really well for you. You can also place your hands on your higher heart. That is the area between your throat and your chest. Left hand first on your body, on the higher heart, and right hand on top of the left. In a calm state, eyes closed. Connecting with your higher heart, you set your intention for the day. Simply by speaking these words out loud, but gentle, just loud enough for yourself to hear, not shouting out for everyone else. When you speak out loud to yourself in a way that you can hear, one thing is that your body is going to hear it and respond to that whatever it is that you are saying. And secondly, it is also a commitment. When we speak out loud to ourselves, it is a commitment that you are making to yourself for your transformation because your word is a bond. So you start the day by speaking these words, by taking this responsibility for yourself. Today, my intention is to be calm, to be kind, to be compassionate, to be positive, no matter what. No matter what situation I get into, no matter what life brings me, no matter who I encounter. Today, I am going to be functioning from this place of love, of compassion and forgiveness. Today, I'm going to feel wonderful. I'm going to feel light and joyful, no matter what the body or the monkey mind tells me. Or you can simply say, today I'm wonderful. Today I'm peaceful. Today I'm beautiful. You can change the words, you can add whatever suits you. However, words are important here. We do not say, 
I want. I want to be calm. I want to be happy. I want to be positive. Because I want keeps us in a I want but that kind of energy. I want but I'm not getting it. You see what I mean? So we only use I am. Because I am is a powerful affirmation, confirmation for the present moment. It means that you are already embodying those qualities as you speak. And there's another thing to be mindful. If you say I will, that will remain in the future and it will not happen. So we do not use the phrase I will either. We do not speak in future tense. Because for the universe and for the mind, there is nothing such as the past or the future. Everything is happening now, in this moment, as we speak, as we think. So everything is in the present. So the words that you are going to use can go like this. Today, I feel wonderful. Or today, I'm going to be wonderful. Today, I am calm. Or today, I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be positive no matter what situation I get into. I'm going to be able to handle everything in a calm way, in a positive way, functioning from a place of love, of compassion and forgiveness. That's all you've got to say. When we set this intention, we are giving that instruction to the mind and to the universe for how the day is going to unfold. This is how you set your intention for the day. This is what sets the tone for the day. You could also set the intention for your health and well-being if that's what you wish. Today, I am full of vitality. Today, I'm going to be full of vitality. Today, I am light and joyful. Or today, I'm going to feel light and joyful. Today, I'm going to feel energized. Today, I'm going to be healthful. The reason why I'm giving you these two versions, I am and I'm going to be, is because when we're already in a place of calm, in a place of joy, in a place of vitality, well-being, then when I set those intentions saying that I am full of joy or I am calm, today I am wonderful, today I am full of vitality, there will be no resistance. So you can use that. But when we are in a state of being where we are not in that place yet, where we feel we need some more healing to do, where we feel that we're not really calm, we're not really functioning from a place of love and joy, and we know that in the day we react to people around us, to, situation, to situations around us, in a way that is uh, not really um, intentional, but sometimes it just happens because we're just reacting. So those kind of situations... When we say, I am calm, I am functioning from a place of love, or I am joy, then the resistance may kick in in our body and mind. And therefore, in those situations, to ease out that resistance and to be more open, we can use the phrase, I am going to be. So that works out perfectly fine because you're still saying, I am. Today, I am going to be full of vitality. Today, I'm going to feel light and joyful. Today, I'm going to feel energized. Today, I'm going to be healthful. Today, I'm going to be peaceful, if you wish for a peaceful life. Today, I'm going to function from a place of calm, from a place of stillness, from a place of compassionate understanding. These are some of the words that you can use to set your intention. So why does it work? Why does this practice work? Setting an intention is simply giving an instruction 
to the mind. And sending out an instruction to the universal radar for what you wish, what you desire. So you're just telling yourself and or you're letting the universe know this is my wish, this is my desire, this is what I want to be today. You are sending that energy, that information out as you set your intention. And as we know, energy flows where attention goes. The perfect analogy for why and how this works is the game of darts. Before you throw a dart, you look at the board and you set your intention first. You don't just throw it, do you? You look at the board, you look at the circles, you look at the colors, and you use your mind to set the intention exactly where it is that you would like your dart to land, then you throw it. There is a huge space of nothingness between you, the thrower, and the board. The dart is made of dense metal, and yet it does not drop midway on its journey because it is your intention that propels it forward and for it to land on the exact spot where you want it to land on the board. It is your intention that instructs and guides the dart to go exactly where you want it to go. Isn't it incredible? This is exactly how this practice works. You are setting the desire, the wish, for how you would like your day to be, how you would like to feel today. Before you throw the dart, you are setting the intention. You would like calmness, you would like positivity, you would like love, you would like compassion, you would like to function from all these beautiful frequencies with gratitude, with forgiveness and appreciation. When you set your intention, your mind listens. Your mind then sends instructions to your physical brain and to your body. Then your body hears and receives that instruction, carries out that order, and that's how the day unfolds in that manner. Similarly, when your mind sends out the instruction to the universe, the magical cosmic radar receives it and transmits it back to you in the way that you have spoken. Now you see how powerful this practice is. Through this practice, you are communicating with the universe consciously, number one. And number two, you are stepping into the powerful conscious being that you are. You are speaking to yourself that part of you that perhaps you didn't even know were listening. The human mind is a powerful tool for us to create whatever it is that we want to create. This is where all seeds can grow, flourish, blossom and bear fruits. The reason why many people remain in turmoil in a state of befuddlement most days is because they just jump into the day. When we do that, we are not really preparing ourselves. We are not giving any instructions, any guidelines to ourselves for the day. It's like going out into a cold, wet, windy day without wearing appropriate clothing. You are going to be wet. You are going to be cold because you're not prepared. When we're not prepared, we can easily get into a state of confusion, a state of overwhelm, and we get into a state of reacting without thinking. And in that, we are causing more situations for ourselves that we do not really like or want to be in. More anger, more frustration, more pain. We don't want that, do we? When we set an intention, we are giving an instruction to the mind. 
We are giving an instruction to the universe. We are setting the tone for how I am going to respond to others or life situations. So you see the difference? Simply by setting your intention every day, by saying that I'm going to feel wonderful, I'm going to be calm, I'm going to be positive no matter what, you are taking charge of yourself and your life. You are going into the day with a preparedness. This is why it is such a powerful habit that can transform your life. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you do it, it becomes a habit. And the more you do it, it becomes an automatic programming. And before you know it, you can realize that you have transformed your life simply by playing an active part in creating every single day of your life. I wish you joy and fun in this practice. I am grateful for your presence and for playing a part in the human spiritual evolution. I leave you now in love and in light. Thank you, thank you, thank you.